arrived at Salisbury Racehorse for the Wiltshire Classic Sportive. I'm doing the long distance, which is uh, 73 miles. I think that's 117 kilometers from memory. Uh, it's uh, 7.20 in the morning. Uh, it's taken me just over an hour to get here from home. Registration is open apparently, so uh, I've just been ushered into my parking spot. I'm gonna go to the registration desk, get my number. pretty much done <laughs> I've got so much clothing on I've got my uh, shoe cover things on as uh, it is wet and it's just started raining again so I'm pretty much ready to go I've got my skull cap a uh, buff thing my Castelli jacket uh, bikes loaded up with food and some drink uh, so I think that's it race numbers on <laughs> Okay, and we are off and running. Feel good so far. <laughs> oh, just went up a massive hill. It was really, really challenging. I don't know how long it went on for, but it was a bit of a tough one that, especially for me, I'm not used to hills. Um, so it's quite difficult. Around about 14 miles in, and it's uh, flattening out now so I can get my breath back a bit. That was a really big hill I just went up, I just had a bit of a stop just to, for a toilet break and uh, I'm just going to have a very quick gel for two minutes and then get back on the bike and join the rest of the others. I'm now on a long course down there, um, it's split so the medium people are going that way so I'm going down here on the long course and I think around 25 miles maybe is a feed station so I'll be able to refill my drinks then but uh, I'm going to have a SIS gel and then get on with it. Uh, 27 miles in I'm at feed station number one of two on the course uh, I'll drop some footage in right now just showing what's on offer it's things like gels flapjack things some saurine cake which I've got here um, and some electrolyte drinks uh, so it's really well stocked good toilet facilities as well and uh, yeah all, all really good so far it's raining again it's on and off um, it's not very nice at the minute the skies are grey definitely weather's turning um, it's not heavy rain but it's just a bit um, you know, a bit annoying really, but at least it's not too heavy at the minute. Okay, I spoke too soon, it's now heavy rain. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, coming down quite heavy now. I'm 35 miles in. I'm all on my own, I think. Um, a lot of people are overtaking me, but I don't think uh, this is a big deal. Quite a big hill, it's a 12% gradient and no idea, no idea how long this lasts for, hopefully not too long. <laughs> Nearly at the top of this hill, really nice view. Still have no idea where I am, it's either Dorset or Wiltshire, uh, over halfway, 40 miles done, 32 to go. As you can see behind me, really, really nice views there. It's worth stopping just for a couple of minutes just to appreciate the view, take a couple of pictures, um, have a drink, and take it all in, really. I'm not in a, not in a rush. Um, I'm not gonna win this thing, so <laughs> I'm just gonna try and complete it. Um, but yeah, enjoying it so far. Just uh, gonna probably look according to my Wahoo go down a hill in a minute, which is good. Have a bit of a break there. And uh, I will carry on. Sun's back out, typical British weather. Rain in one minute, sunny the next. It's actually really nice now. And no doubt it'll rain again in a minute. <laughs> okay, just at feed station number two. This is the last one on the course, uh, about 20 miles left. You might be able to see behind me just over there is a 
mobile mechanic sort of place and then over there is the food uh, and refreshments uh, so I just grabbed another gel uh, another oat cake thing and uh, topped up my water bottle so that's it so 20 miles left to go and uh, pretty much into the home straight ah just testing this works uh, just been going down a big hill very very bumpy road and this popped out and uh, landed quite heavily on the road it's recording up here so hopefully it's uh, all working without any issues eight miles to go nearly there final push i'm at the finish line in 0.1 mile Back in the car, ride finished, really happy with how it went. Uh, distance wise, it's 72 miles. Elevation gain, uh, 4,100 feet. Um, and basically the uh, time it took to complete that was five hours, um, five minutes. Average pace uh, or average speed uh, is still very slow, 14.2 miles per hour. Um, but uh, I'm not too fussed about the speed because I was more worried about the feel and more concerned with the feel uh, I'm not going to go into everything now I'm going to do that probably at home tomorrow when I um, have some time to rest and drive home and everything but live reaction is very good didn't feel particularly um, you know that tired at the end I could have kept going actually um, and I felt quite strong in fact it was really weird I felt stronger in the last 10 or 20 miles than I did in the first part. I don't know why that was. I can only imagine that psychologically I could see the end or something like that. Anyway, um, got on the medal here. Um, also got given um, some uh, alcohol-free beer by a brand, a brand called Days. I've never heard of them or had that before. Um, I also got one of my favorites, which was a Jimmy's iced coffee, skinny version. And finally, OTE gave away a bar, a free bar. They did all the nutrition on the um, course. And I have to say, really liked them actually. Not the bars necessarily, but the gels um, were really good. Um, I'm definitely gonna look to buy some of those, I think, going forward. I'm gonna leave it there because I need to drive home, which is gonna take about an hour and a half. But uh, all in all, very good day, really happy with that. And uh, I'll finish off the video at home tomorrow with one final um, sort of um, thought on how it went. Back home now and it's the following day. I'm just about to start washing down my bike. It is in a really bad state. It's covered in mud pretty much everywhere in the whole chain, the brakes, uh, the tyres, everywhere. So I'm going to get that onto the bike stand just here and outside I'll uh, get the power washer out and give it a good hose down. Um, in terms of yesterday, I won't say too much more. I, I've said it all probably, but it was a really good ride, really enjoyable. Uh, I felt quite a lot of confidence gained from it because I was a bit concerned about you know whether I'd feel comfortable doing that 70 mile distance which I did and looking forward to the uh, triathlon in May which is a 56 mile bike ride I feel quite happy now that with more training that's very achievable and uh, as well as doing a run off the back of that so the plan going forward is to really keep on hammering those bike rides in training not just trainer road but out on the actual roads themselves so I've got some 50, 60 mile rides booked in the calendar, as well as a 100 mile bike ride uh, in April. Um, and then uh, very shortly, I'm gonna start uh, throwing in some brick runs with the, the shorter rides. I won't go too much, I don't wanna overtrain, but say I'm doing a 50 mile ride, I might do a 5K or 10K afterwards or something like that. Um, just to start getting my legs used to that sort of uh, one discipline to the other. So yeah, really good day out, really enjoyable, very pleased with how it went. And uh, especially with it being a hilly course, not nice weather, quite windy at times. Um, and yeah, it's a really good um, uh, event really. So I'm gonna leave it there, but thank you so much for watching if you got this far. Like and subscribe if you've not done so already, and I will see you next time.